Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Terror from the Deep. There are many things that are occurring here in XCOM. Grenades being thrown at our molecular controlled uh, lobster men and many other horrible things. Let's discover what's really going on, eh? These lobster men playing glove games, playing tricky games, yet will prevail. You know why? Because in the sky we have our friend, the great Don Quixote, who exists to have personal introductions with his foes, such as attacking them. Attack! Attack! And the foes of Don Quixote are slain! Slain epically! Well done, Don Quixote. We do need to molecular control some more enemy lobster men though, such as this one, just in case. And this one as well. You're a lobster man technician. I see. Is it worth killing you? Or saving you? We'll see. I'll put you over this way a bit. Not enough time units, I see. And the soldier, you can probably die. We'll, like, we'll lead you over this way. I that presents a target for the lobster man over there. Who, Yog Dogroff, will now sight for us. Be a good boy. Yog Dogroff? <laughs> You're not a dog, are you? There you are. Thank you, Tooth and Claw. Take it away. Molecular control successful. Basically just lining them up for our melee characters to take them out. Melee, ha melee people rejoice. I've been com had people complain video after video, use melee weapons, and now I am. I'm just lining them up like ducks. Exactly. Like ducks. What's that I hear you ask? Don Quixote likes killing ducks? Oh, I know. I do. Attack. Attack. Oh, that didn't work. Oh no, he can't attack. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Molecular control. Oh, it's okay now. Thank you for not reaction firing, by the way. Okay, and now over here. You can see one of them. There are two. Trust me, there's two. Where's the other one? I oh, know we killed him. Okay, that's the one we're meant to save. Uh, Baker. Out you come. Even Dog Dogroff could do it. Oh, well, we like you like control him anyway, just in case. Good work. Okay. Aquajet, continue exploring. We've killed four lobster men so far. And we're going to make that more and more as time goes on, because we're good at that. We have a knight, and he exists to slay his enemies. He's a lance, because he's a knight. Let's end turn. Oh, another grenade from the tank. That does a bit finally destroy the thing, which is good. It's good to get some eventual destruction. It's a bit dissatisfying when a grenade goes off and nothing blows up. I suppose it's just the Hollywood, the Hollywood, um, factor in me. Stun was not so successful, so just in case we'll molecular control him. Good work. Stun did do some reasonable, did do some reasonable amount of stun, but we'll need some more. And of course Don Quixote attacks! <laughs> Excellent work Don Quixote, now hide in the, hide in the coral like a knight. He bravely hit in the coral. Like all brave knights. And now, Dr. Robo Evil. You shall now equip your chemical flare and throw it in the general direction where this came from. No, don't give me nonsense. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Robo Evil. Now. Something happened towards the night, but it failed. We have finally stunned that guy. Don Quixote rises above all weird shaped thingies and soars towards his opponents by throwing chemical flares at them. Chemical flare! Over there! We have now sighted our foe. And as always, Tooth and Claw teaming up with the knights of this realm in order to eliminate them. In order to eliminate them, don't move. 
that wasn't a good idea. You should stay in the Triton. Okay, Lobster Man Technician. No wonder there were so many grenades. Because they are the ones who hold the thermal tasers for knights. They're the squires of the, um, the XCOM, the Alien Society. They have squires. But what they don't have is knights. Uh, they have people who hold the lances, but no one's figured out how to use them. That's what makes us humans stronger. We know how to hit people. That's right. We still haven't worked out how to use them against a door, though. Like, or a wall. But that, we're working on that one. Okay, well then turn. Alien over there. An alien to disrupt a pulse launcher, that could be interesting. It seems like our good old friend, the Knight, has three enemy aliens he's gonna kill this time. Let's see how many he can do, shall we? Can you count? First of all, we will like molecular control this guy, just in case. I do not want him being blasted in the face of a sonic cannon. Flying through the air! Well, the water, rather. Oh, no, he can't kill any of them. How disappointing. Can't even turn. Very disappointing. I'm disappointed, knight. Your knightliness was not good enough. Well, we'll just melee like control everybody. It's a good solution. Anyone you can see, squad leader? No. Soldier? No. Well, what sort of sh ship do we have here? It's interesting. Um, alright, what we'll do is we'll pointlessly fire the torpedo. Why not? One. Two. Three. Uh, da, 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 da. You know why? Because we want to give our knight the opportunity to go through the roof, because that's knightly. Good job, Lobster Man Squad Leader. I appreciate that. Oh, another grenade. Excellent work! Excellent work there, Lobster Man. You will become one with the knight. You will be a part of honour and respect. It's right in front of you. It's literally right in front of you and you can't see it. Um... Okay, well, we'll just ignore it then. It still can't attack! You need more time units, Don Quixote. You need more time units. Well, Tooth and Claw, just molecular control them instead. Because that's the safest way to be. That's not good. There it is, see the Lobster Man can figure it out. Well, go up, Don Quixote. Now they won't figure it out. The unarmed guy can't throw grenades into the air, and the guy with the sonic cannon will just molecular control. And it didn't work. Who would have shot the guy with the disruptor pulse launcher anyway? Because who would shoot someone with a lee weapon? Oh, go, Yog, go. <laughs> Yog, Dorof. Grenades everywhere. That's been a major crossfire here in XCOM. Alright, well, let's see what we can do to help. Uh, Yog Dogroff are out. <laughs> Man, I'm not pronouncing that well. Okay, Monotone Singer, equip your chemical flare. Now, Monotone Singer, rejoice! Oh, throw a chemical flare! No, can't do that because I'm useless! Ooh, yeah! Useless chemical flare! He doesn't have the secrets of the chemical flare, like Chemical Flare Man. Come on, you can do it! It's just a chemical- Throw in the chemical flare! Okay, thank you. Now, can you see anything? There we are. It was a good shot, but it wasn't good enough. How about you, Dr. Robo Evil? Can you follow it up with another good shot? That was a good shot! Well done, Doctor! Keep up the good work. Now, Don Quixote, witnesser of three separate lobster men. How many can he kill in one turn, shall we? Can we see some cleave action? Rakash in, um, in Icewind Dale, I believe. That was cool. It was like, <laughs> goblin killed. <laughs> now, can we see the same thing of lobster men who aren't so insignificant? Maybe. We have a lobster man soldier watching on. We're seeing even more aliens at work. Let's see what we can do, shall we? Cleave time! Attack! 
Attack! Lining them up like ducks! That's exactly what we're doing. Okay, now the molecular controlling. Well, when we come back, there'll be more XCOM, more ducks lined up in a row for Don Quixote, the man who defeats ducks to kill. Thanks for making that easier for us. He's almost dead anyway. Throw away your gun. <laughs>